Hey, what's up guys? It's Oddcrafter Bro one here, and today I'm going to be building a Minecraft base in one chunk. So, if you don't know what one chunk is, is then it's this grass area right here. It can go up to the build height and down to bedrock, but it has to stay in this 16 by 16 chunk. So, let's get straight into it. So, for this base, we are going to need everything that we can survive. We want to survive without ever leaving this chunk. So, the first thing we're going to need is a place to sleep. A house. So, I'm done with the house. It's a very bog-standard house. But it is taking up quite a lot of space. But I think a lot of the base will be underground, so that shouldn't matter. Now, I am go I have an idea for a redstone contraption in the top of the house. A redstone lamp that, when it's time to sleep, will turn on. So, I have to make this in a one wide, one high, high area because of the space I'm going to put the ceiling in. But I think I've created a design that will work. So if I would just put a comparator there, a dropper there, with six that many items in it. As you can see, if I set the time to night when we can sleep, the lamp will turn on. But if the time is still sometime we can't sleep, like sunset the lamp will not turn on so I'll I'll put a bed in and come up with some more ideas for redstone contraptions in here and I'll see you when I'm done with that I've added two last things in the house now a bed and also a hidden furnace crafting table and anvil system because these those things they're pretty ugly although one thing I could do is just get some smooth stone and replace those blocks because it looks a bit ugly there we go much better so next I need to start working on the elevator to get us down to the bottom so, I guess I'll show you when I'm done with that. I'm finally done. I got some decoration in as well, with some trees, some long grass, some flowers, and a gravel path coming up to the door. But, as you can see, there's no way you would know there's a secret base here. But, if we place down a piece of redstone, you can see that this hole opens up. We can drop down into our hidden base, and one of the bonuses of using this scaffolding is, if we hold down, we don't take fall damage, and the way you get back out is by, by using the best way you can get out of a base ever. TNT. And Elytra. So you can launch out of your base and fly off into the distance. So, next thing I'm going to want to build is a storage silo. Which is essentially storage for lots of different items at one. once. So, I'll show you when I build that. So I'm done clearing out the space, so the way it's going to work is we're going to have double chests coming up like this, with the redstone lamps next to them. Then when one of these chests are full, the redstone lamp next to it will turn on. So the way we're going to do that is we're going to put in our hopper, as behind the double chests. like that 
and then, whoops, I can't get to my redstone lamps now. Then we're going to put a comparator there, a block there, in front of the first hopper. In front of the second hopper, we're going to want a comparator here, a repeater here, and a piece of redstone dust here. Then for the third one, we're going to want to place a block there, comparator there. And then you're going to put your items in by high using this chest up at the top. So I'll just give you a quick demonstration of that. Now, as you can see, this chest is full of items. So when I place one more item into this chest you can see that this redstone lamp will turn on because there are items in this hopper the comparator is detecting that and turning on the redstone lamp so now I think we have to make this look a bit better because really at the moment it's not looking too good I'm done with the storage silo, I've also added a bit more decoration and I've moved the input chest so as you can see if I put a few items in here you can hear it start clicking and then these lamps will start flashing wildly and that means that all of the redstone lamps have gone into the chest so I also want to really want to build a lighting system that lights up the base when we come inside. So I think I'm going to need some redstone torches and some repeaters. So let's go inside the redstone. Shouldn't have broken that block. Let's go inside the redstone. Can't go inside there either. Right, let's go. Come on, there must be a place I can go inside the redstone somewhere. Uh, ah, here. Let's go inside the redstone. Where's the T flip flop? There's the T flip flop. So. Um, will I turn on the lights? Okay, okay. I can put a redstone torch here. Then I need to, um, find the redstone lamps. That should be them. Place some redstone dust. Sort of loop it round. And then keep going. Maybe put a repeater there. That should be all the lamps turned on. I'm going to add a little bit of delay. Just so that we're actually inside the base when we turn on the light. But now I'm going to need to put gravel back that I broke and also the grass that I broke so grass there grass there and I'm going to put some gravel there so now as you can see I put this in then when I open it up you can see that right after I come in the lights turn on which is brilliant. Next, I want to try and build a good source of, well, a good source of food, for one thing, and a good source of paper for books. So, food is easy enough, 
going to create what's known as a nano farm. So I'm going to need a bucket of water, some of that, a lever to turn it on, and obs some observers, a lot of bone meal, I know I'm going to need that, but I'll add that in later, and hoe. So, where am I going to build the bread? The nano farm. I think I'll build it right here. So I'm going to put a dispenser there, dispenser there, and dispenser there. Then I'm going to break in here. We're going to put in an observer clock. that. I'm going to need some redstone dust, aren't I? So I can go into the gravel. Oh, not dispensers. I need redstone. Then also some in there. So this is firing. Let's just see, is this firing? Yeah, that's firing all right. Now, where am I going to put my water? I think I'm going to put it right, right there. Then, last thing I'm going to need is a block to put my redstone on there. Stone brick. Boom. I'll hoe this block. It should turn into that. And then, the way it's going to work is you put down your seeds. It's going to bone meal it. Then you break it and put another one down. It's a very simple farm. So I'm just going to put the bone meal in all the dispensers now. I'm going to need a lot of bone meal. Now, just I'm gonna put three stacks in each one. Then, after that, we will give it a test. Okay, so I have changed the redstone clock a bit because the old one just wasn't working. But as you can see now, if I put some seeds down, it grows really nice and fast. We can break it and place it and break it and place it as fast as we can go and we'll always get a piece of wheat. So next material I want to produce is paper which I am going to, for that I will use a guy called Skippy6Gaming's Zero Tick Sugarcane Farm. If you haven't seen his YouTube channel I'd encourage you to check it out. I'll leave a link to it in the description. But this sugarcane farm, it's the one I built on the Oddcraft server, if you remember that. Where the pistons sort of push up and down. It's very complicated stuff that I don't know about. So, let's see. Let's see if I can remember how to build it. Um... So we're going to need a block with a lever on it, like that, and I think that will power a piece of redstone dust. I don't remember how to build it, so um, I'll just go and build it, and I'll show you when I'm finished. I have built the sugarcane farm now. Now, I could not remember how to build Skippy's design, so I just built your bog standard sugarcane farm. But, sadly, that is just about all I've got time for today. 
So, if you want more, make sure to like and subscribe. But now, I'm going to give you the tour of the place. So, we'll start with this lovely exterior all inside one chunk. Inside this house, we have the bed, nothing stupid there, and a redstone lamp, and as soon as you can sleep, so not at sunset, because you still can't sleep then, but at night, it turns on, you can sleep, past the day, why, past the night, and arrive in the day. Next, we have hidden furnace, anvil, and crafting table array. Okay, very simple. Now we go outside and we get to the crazy stuff. You drop down into the thing. You don't take much fall damage because of the scaffolding. You and put items into your storage system. So, for example, if I want to put in... So, let's see. Where are they? Oh, I've collected lots of snowballs on my travels. Let's just get rid of them. And you can see they all start flowing into the chests. For some reason, the top and the bottom split equally, and nothing goes in the middle. But I don't really know what to do about that. Then we have a nano farm. A very quick farm. That bony is it. And you get lots of wheat very nice and quickly. Well, it could be wheat. You can also use carrots and potatoes. I'll just show you that quickly. Carrots works. Potatoes. No, I don't want to eat them. Works. And last but not least, we have this sugarcane farm. I don't know when we actually see it. This sugarcane farm. Which I think maybe I'll even put a slab here in case you want to bone meal it. Like that, why isn't it growing? And we can get plenty of sugar cane. And then, the best part about this entire build, build, the leaving. So, you're gonna need some redstone dust. You hit the button, get your elytra, launched out to the house then you can close the thing up and go on your merry way with your elytra so thanks for watching this tutorial if you, you want to see it's not a tutorial is it never mind thank Cool for watching this video. Um, if you like, want to see more stuff like this, make sure to give it a like. And if you really loved it, then make sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys. Guys, and this has been Oddcrafter Bro One.